Okay. Uh, so this is a consecutive reaction. What it says you have are simultaneous, means same thing. They want you to write the overall reaction and list the intermediates. Uh, this is a highly difficult question. What you're essentially going to have to do is add these up and make sure the intermediates cancel. Uh, it gives you a hint. It says the answer involves the manganese 4 oxide. You know that's in the answer, in the reactant. And you know in the product you have uh, the manganese 3 oxide. Okay, there might be other stuff. Uh, most likely it's going to be CO2 in, in the product and some CO in the reactant as well. But those are the manganese that it tells you in the question that you're going to have. Okay, so we essentially have to manipulate these equations until they add up and get rid of everything else. So, understand the question? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's kind of uh, involved. Here's how I do these problems. You look, this is what I want. Let's find it up here. I think this is the only place it appears. <laughs> you also want uh, this, Mn2O3, and that appears here. OK? Let's see what doesn't appear here, as far as the manganese goes. Well, this one here, I'll put it in a box, Mn3O4, it appears in two places. That doesn't appear in the final reaction. Also, this one doesn't appear. I'll circle it. MnO, the manganese 2 oxide. What do we call these ones that are in a box or a circle? Not spectator ions. Intermediates. So that goes for the thing in the box and the thing in the circle. Okay? So you know that, you know the answer for part B, I think, without starting the question. So what you want to do is add this up so that you get what they ask for, which is the manganese 4 and the manganese 3, and that you cancel out the ones that are not asked for. The CO2s, we don't care. We don't care about the carbon dioxide or monoxide. We're just going to let it fall out as it does. All right? So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with this here. Do you see how I have um, a manganese 4 oxide here? And that's here. That's good. It's in the reactants here, so when I add this up, this is just going to carry on down right there. That's totally fine. Let's look at this. I need this in the products. Unfortunately, over here, it's in the reactants. You see that? So what I'm going to do, take this whole reaction. First of all, I want to flip it. Make it backwards so that this is in the products. Because I want it in the products. Is that okay? So I'm going to multiply by a negative. Also, I want one of them, and I have three. Is that okay? So I'm going to multiply by one-third. The negative to flip it, the one-third to give us one of them. Cool so far? Okay. It'll get worse, so don't worry. Uh, the next part I want to do, and once I multiply by some one equation, I'm done with that equation. I'm not going to multiply it again. It's fixed. So now I want to mess with these top two. Since this is fixed, I'm going to make sure that this thing in the box cancels out. I want it to cancel out with this. Is that okay? So this one here, now here's the weird part. Right now, after the multiplication, is this in the products or reactants? Where is this? It's in the reactants because I flipped it with this minus. Is that okay? Well, I don't want this to be in the reactants because it's got to cancel. So I've got to flip this one too. Minus. 
And how many of these do I have? Two. Two thirds. Remember that. And so I need two thirds of these, so they cancel. Okay? <laughs> Done with the second reaction. Let's go up to the top. What else do I want to cancel, you have to ask yourself? Well, there's the MNO. That has to cancel. Okay, where is this? Reactants or products? Reactants. It's in the reactants because I flipped it. So, this is good. I'm going to leave this here. I don't need to flip this because if this is the reactants, it'll cancel with what's in the products. So I'm not going to multiply by a negative here. But I have how many of these? Two. Three times two-thirds is two. Uh, so I need two of these. Okay? I'm done with the multiplication. Now if I can add, I'm done. So, uh, I'm going to have uh, two of these. I'm going to have one of these. All the other manganese are going to cancel. I just want to see what happens with the CO2. What is 2 minus 2 thirds minus a third? What is that? 2 minus 2 thirds minus a third. 1. Good. See, oh, that was easy. And how about over here? 2 minus 2 thirds minus a third. This one. Done. Any questions? <laughs> this disgusting animal. It will not get harder than this. This is this is as difficult as it can get. Yes. Um, couldn't you just switch the order? Like if you have the spectators are the carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide, right? Uh they're not, uh they don't have a particular name. Okay. But yeah, like, the, those you take molecules. Yeah, order like the third equation and move that to the second and flip it so the CO2 is canceled for that. Uh huh. And then take the third and move that, or the second and move that to the bottom. And so flip these are. Yeah, so uh -huh. just kind of match it up with like the CO2 so those cancel as long as you have the end product with the magnesium like, 4. Uh, you yeah. could try that. I don't know if it would work. You need to make sure that all the other manganese species cancel. Cancel out, yeah. Yeah. So if that happens, that's fine. Uh, I do it, I, I, for me, this is the most systematic way to do it. There's different ways you can kind of logic it, put, do the logic in your mind. But I just want to, kind of, my logic is, first I make sure that what I want is here. And so that's why I did this first multiplication with this one uh, and with this one. And then after that, I make sure that my intermediates are going to cancel. Once I've got those two, I know I'm done. So then I just have to like do the addition and stuff. That's my logic, but if you want to do, you could try that. If you add it up and you get other manganese that shouldn't be there, you just got to start over. 